Hello and welcome back to this project that I was last on about three weeks ago. The link to the previous video is up there. Um, I've been away on uh, another project, a big paving project, and also some little jobs that I've had to get done for people. But I'm back here now. I'll be on this one, get this one finished off for the customer, just give you a quick reminder of where I've got to. So if you'll remember, I've got this section to do here, going out to the way through to the front where I've using these boards as my access. I've now got my mixer out the front where as last time I had it out here, but obviously this has all been paved now. So today you're gonna to start off getting this run done. Work away the work away around the drain gully, I should say. Last cut on that um, manhole cover there. <coughs> and then tomorrow start working that way. Issues I've got are outside tap access, which is there. So today won't be so, so bad because I can lean across Tomorrow I'm going to start having to sort of jump over these to get round to turn that on and off obviously for the hose to run through to the mixer. And then once this is done, I've got a step to build from outside the patio doors there. And then all of the plum, also not plum chippings, blue slate chippings to go around the outside, point it, and we're done. Lovely job. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the paving at this stage for today. Um, just going to let that go off. And what I'm going to do now is get the basis of the um, base for where the steps are going to go. So you can see I've laid out these engineering bricks in the shape that I want to fill. So I'm going to put them in there, mortar them down, um, let them set. And then when I'm back here, I'm going to fill that with concrete and rebar to a flat surface and then that be able to pave on top of that section there so the customer can get over our patio doors safely.
So I'm just going to leave that now, let that set a little bit, and give it a scratch coat once it's drying off. I've left it right at the end of the hut, and then bricks, that still give me a decent bed to get the slabs on. I didn't want to go flush with this because this edge is going to be quite low, so keeping that centimetre or two below the um, height of the bricks gives me a decent bed still to when I come around to doing the slabs. So I've just given everything a pressure wash before I start pointing. Just gonna let this dry off a little bit, let all the standing water disappear. I want it a bit damp in the joints when I um, apply my pointing. So let's get this pointed. few shovels of uh, these um, blue chippings left over so I thought this area here because I was playing it a bit by ear how many chippings I'd have left over I'm going to clear this section dig it up get rid of that old slab and I'm going to put some membrane down there and I'm going to fill this with these chippings 
all the way down there and that'll just help me out as well because these are going to be a regular maintenance customer of mine so get that membrane get it stoned over a bit less weeding that's that section that's near here where i did all the planting and that's that done so now as we come out the back door we have all the new paving we've got all the blue slate chippings around the side acting as a water runoff and decorative feature we've got the inset manhole covers we did the um, drainage section there then that's some uh, concrete walls to retain all these chippings the main drainage run across here with the land drain pipe a good two feet down redressed all the soil here is the other manhole cover got the new steps for the customer when they come out these patio doors and then from phase one we've got all this like planted in here we've got all these plants here a lot of pollinator friendly plants if you remember again i'll link up above we've got the wildlife pond which is stabbing itself now all the seeds are starting to come through plants are doing well water quality is looking fantastic you get all these blue slate chippings here and if you remember last but not least the mini wildflower meadow which this was just seed about two months ago apart from the plugs that i put in all this section at the back is coming on so well so these will be a regular maintenance customer of mine so i'll be doing um sort of monthly updates on how everything's developing especially the pond and the plants but yeah for now that is it the customer is very very happy which is the main thing i'm very happy and uh yeah on to the next one mm -hmm.